my name is Dave Mason, and um, I am actually an old, old, old Red Hatter, one of the originals. And uh, I spent quite a few years at Red Hat. And when I left Red Hat, I you know, bounced around a little bit, tried some politics, whatever. But I was really looking for something, some way of taking open source that I knew from software and expressing it in other ways. Um, and I heard about this nonprofit that was in Chapel Hill, this public health nonprofit, that had started working in open source software. And I thought, this is interesting. And this is Heather Lagarde. Heather has a long history in nonprofit world, from Human Rights Watch to War Child to UNHCR. <coughs> and through her work in those organizations, she met a lot of entertainment people, musicians and the like, who had contributed their time, their music, and their money to some of the projects she was working on. Heather was roped into IntraHealth by our friend Vanessa, who also brought me to IntraHealth, uh, sitting back there. So. We find ourselves both at IntraHealth, and IntraHealth had already had um, started working on this uh, uh, HR information system that they had done in open source due to some monetary constraints from the real world of HRIS. And um, so Heather and I get together and with Vanessa, and we, we start talking about you know, ways of, of looking at open source and, and nonprofit world. At the same time, international recording artist Yusu Endor uh, had a foundation and was looking for ways to work with IntraHealth on really anything. Um, but, but I'll let Heather talk a little bit more about you soon. So the head of IntraHealth is a Senegalese guy named Pop Guy, and he's really a wonderful person. And uh, he is very close friends with Yusu Ndour, who's also from Senegal. And I had worked with Yusu Ndour on a UNHCR project called Refugee Voices. And so when Pop came to me with Vanessa and Dave all together saying, can you put something open sourcey together with this rock star? How will you do it? We took all of us together and thought of making this thing called the Open Initiative. And that would be a way where we could help spread mobile and open technologies across the developing world, and especially getting local folks engaged with this. Yusu had just released an album called Yoko, which actually means connectivity or connected. And we thought it was really perfect. The goal of that album for him was to use some of the funds to do um, support youth using wireless technology or using mobile technology and um, internet cafes. And he thought he could fund internet cafes in Africa, and luckily, just commercially, that started to happen. So his nonprofit concept didn't work, and he didn't know what to do. So he came to us, and we all got together, and we thought we could use one of his songs, and in some ways demonstrate to people who didn't understand what open source was, what it was by using music stems instead of code. And we could make music together and, and do what some of you guys have shown before, which is recycle, reuse, repurpose music stems instead of code and explain that that's how open source can work and that we could do it either for art or we could do it for global health and really save lives with what the work hackathons and et cetera was being done. So we came up with that idea and we convinced a bunch of other musicians to join in with us from Nas and Dakishi and Marianne and some of these other guys. And the goal was that we would do this all um, in a very open way. And so Dave came up with a way to do Right, so thinking about music and thinking about the fact that we wanted you know, other musicians to join in and remix this, there was really one choice, and that's Creative Commons. Um, and in fact, I was thinking about this last night. I still don't know what else I would have as an option for license outside of Creative Commons to do this. Um, and you know, certainly, we needed attribution because this song had already been released under a full rights copyright. And we needed non-commercial because of the record company. So I had to convince the record companies to do this, <laughs> and the agents and the artists, and none of them had heard, most of them had not heard of Creative Commons before and were very scared by this concept. But thankfully, David Byther, who is one of the heads of Nonsuch Records, really got behind this. See, they were also representing Yusu, and they understood the concept. And so he was able to, to get buy-in from his company and then to go to Warner, which is you know, a very large company, and get them to understand that we were going to release it the stems individually and people could play with these music stems individually, meaning if you think of a song, it might sound like it's one song but it has 85 different underlying tracks and that was what was going to be released one by one. And so we decided to do that and he let us do it, Warner let us do it, all the agents agreed to it, all the artists agreed to it. And we intentionally also then said anything that they made would also be released in the same way of Creative Commons. And the reason we did that is because we did a global remix contest after we had the celebrities do their versions. And we let everybody use all the versions, all the music stems, and make new music. And so um, journalists understood this. The lay people who didn't understand what open source was understood it. And we had 500 entries around the world and from 30 different countries. It was totally moving, incredible. We had 
a, an amazing group of judges from all of these record companies and some of the stars on board um, chose. And a really beautiful song from Studio Molly won. So we were quite pleased with how that spread the word about open source and, and about Interhelp. So there's actually a new book out. Uh, it's called The Power of Open, and it's all about Creative Commons. Um, and I, I'm happy to, to have learned this week that Open was featured in this, and in, in very specifics, uh, uh, Heather, with a few choice quotes and one nice picture, um, is, is featured in this book. And so I'm really proud of that, and, and, and uh, the fact that our work is, is there, and Yusu's work, and all these musicians, and, and everyone else who contributed is in there. Um, so Heather's going to talk about what's happened since then. So the greatest thing to grow out of it was not the music, though we will play the music, but it was the collaborations and the community built out of the project. <laughs> it managed to attract a whole bunch of other great open source companies, really innovative people doing a lot of the, the lab, innovation labs all over the world got involved. We have something called the Interhealth Open Council, and Paul Jones and a bunch of other people in this room are on that council. Um, and that has grown into a lot of collaborative projects all around the world in open and mobile health projects e-learning and m-learning and it's it's quite incredible what's happened we're really thrilled with it and in this last year um, we have expanded into doing clinton global initiative commitment which president clinton chose to focus on is and be featured at the end of this year's cgi event which was really exciting for us and we also run a conference now called switch point which happens in saxabaha in the ha river ballroom which is my nighttime job and um, so I, I encourage you to come to that because that's where we bring a lot of these people together and try to continue the work the collaborations that really came out of this original small idea with Open, and again, could never have done without, been done without Creative Commons license as a, as a just an engine to drive that whole thing. Yeah, you know, one thing I want to say about Creative Commons is that there certainly there's a legal construct to it, um, for, but for me, it was more of a facilitation tool, and um, and one that we could not have done any of this without, and especially when we started dealing with with record labels and other musicians, and so. Um, I love that about that, about Creative Commons. So right now we're going to um, play you a couple of tracks uh, from the thing. So this is the original. Yeah, that's his drum. OK, but this one's made by um, Tuba Crew. Um, Asheville. Yeah, there's yeah. Asheville, actually. Yeah. This is Tuba. This is Tuba. This is Tuba. This is Tuba. As we listen. 